What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Code Porn, sponsored by viewers like you through our Patreon page. Today's episode is a viewer question I got via email asking for an explanation of what use strict does in JavaScript. So use strict is a directive that came out with ECMAScript 5, and what it does is change the way that the JavaScript is executed. It changes to use a strict operating context. Now what that really means is that previously ignored code violations will now cause exceptions. Strict mode is supposed to help us write more secure JavaScript. Basically, JavaScript has been really forgiving of bad syntax and it lets us get away with things that we shouldn't, usually code that could have side effects like using variables that have yet to be defined. For example, let's look at this simple JavaScript code. All it does is assign the string hello to x and then write the value of x out to the console. If we run this using Node.js, we'll see exactly as we expect, which is hello written out to the console. But if we add use strict to the top of this script, we'll get an error telling us that x is not defined. Now at the moment, this example seems a little arbitrary. So let's move this code into a function. Now the code has a little different meaning. Without strict mode, x will end up as a global variable, as we can see by executing a console.log on x outside of the function body. This is probably not what the developer intended to do, and it could have unintended side effects. Adding use strict prevents this from occurring without the developer being explicit in their intent. To correct this code, simply declare the variable with the var keyword in the scope in which it was intended to be consumed. You can set either an entire program to strict mode or scope it to specific functions. Just add the literal string use strict at the top of the script file or to the top of your function body. Let's do a quick rundown of what else strict mode prevents us from doing. As we saw, using a variable, property, or an object without declaring it is not allowed. Deleting a variable, function, or an argument defining a property more than once, duplicating a parameter name, octal numeric literals and escape characters are not allowed, writing to read only and get only properties, deleting an undeletable property, and reserved keywords cannot be used as variable names like eval, arguments, and keywords coming up with ECMAScript 6 like implements, interface, and so on. The with statement is not allowed. And eval is not allowed to create variables in the scope from which it was called. And this is done for security reasons. So because uStrict is a literal expression and not a statement, it will be backwards compatible with older browsers. So at worst, it'll simply be ignored and the script will run normally. So should you be using uStrict in your scripts? An easy answer to that is, if your existing strips have been working, then leave them alone. But moving forward, it's a good idea to use strict mode. All right, that's it for this episode. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you like this episode, click that like button or visit our Patreon page and show your support. Thanks for watching.